Hey guys, so I am actually very feeling really really good today. Um, I'm about to prep my decks and so I remembered I'm like, okay, I gotta start, I gotta start remembering to prep my decks and recording it, okay? All right, so it's gonna be a little boring if nothing happens because I'm I'm gonna be silent and I'm gonna be doing my thing. Um, but if we get cards and I feel it, then I will be posting this on YouTube and if it's on YouTube then you obviously know I've posted it. So anyway. Sometimes messages come through personally for me, so if that happens, I probably won't be posting it, okay? <laughs> well, actually, no, mm -mm. no, not posting that, okay. What do we have here? It... Mm. This is a message for me. <laughs> Damn it, I actually want to share with you guys because I've, I've grown to become very attached to some of you that, you, you know, some of you that I, I've gotten to know personally. And I'm just like, you know, you guys are starting to feel more like friends and like almost like family, a couple of you. Um... Damn it, I want to share. I'll just show you, but I won't say anything because I know exactly what this is about. So I just won't say anything. But that's a personal message for me. <laughs> Curious, so that's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. I know exactly who it is. Okay, anyway. That deck is done. <laughs> well, actually... I forgot to cut. I got all distracted. It's going to take me a while to get a groove in for doing these videos for you guys, okay? Okay. But I warn you, it is probably going to be very, very quiet because I'm going to be quiet as I prep my decks, okay? But if something comes through, something comes through. And maybe I'll just cut. I'll just cut all the boring stuff if something comes through from the Major Collective. using the vice versa deck. I'm, I'm prepping the vice versa deck right now and it's like my hands are so cold it's hard to grip, grip them. What is this? Whoa. Whoa. The, this is another personal message for me. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. And again, I know exactly who this is, if you guys are curious. Asaka. I said Ace of Cups, that's crazy. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Tower, Five of Pentacles, Hermit, and the King of Cups. I know what that's about. Oh, Jesus. Ah. <laughs> Just more to my own story. <laughs> if you guys, again, if you guys are wondering. God. I know, already more. The cards like to talk to me a lot. If you guys are wondering. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, right? From before. Justice, Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess. Now I'm going to get into it. It's complicated, guys. It's complicated. Cool, that 
one's done. Next to the Gilded Tarot deck. Another one for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, my life is complicated, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. It is complicated with a capital comp. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, that feels pretty good. All right, now for the Oracle deck. Sometimes these ones, these are where it gets crazy, usually. Um... I'll do the Romance Angels first. I've already done all my, my pre-prep stuff, like my meditations and ink it, like, you know, intentions and things like that. So um, this part is just getting the energy balanced in the cards. But sometimes my guides like to use that as an opportunity to remind me of what's going on in my life. <laughs> this one's got a funky energy on it. I might have to sage it, actually. Yeah. I always sage the cards in the pre-pre-pre. <laughs> the pre-pre-prep. Um... But this one feels funky. And this is an important one. I can't have this one being funky. <laughs> oh my god, did I just scorch one of my cards? Nope. Okay. You know so how a sage can be when you start like getting down to it. It's like, oh my god, a big piece just like fell in there. Okay. Alright. That's still smoking. I'll leave that right there. Okay, that feels really good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, someone had... Whoa. Okay. Someone had this exact message in a reading I did yesterday. Oh my god, who was it? I think it was Virgo. Although that card wasn't there. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this applies, this stuff, this, this applies to me and it applies to, to some of you. Definitely. Shoot. Okay. Well, we're rolling with it. Let's roll with it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, I'm almost hesitant to put this out actually, because I know it applies to me as well as other people. I feel it. It's like, it's more than just me, but it's like, it's this, whoever's on my same energy, um, Wavelength, whatever you want to call it. I don't got all my words yet. <laughs> Should I put this out? I just heard no. I'm sorry, guys. And like I said, it's the same exact cards from the Virgo reading. So if you watch the Virgo video and you get the same romance angel and the same romance angel cards come out, it's like, you know, it's the same stuff. It's the same stuff. So they told me no, especially because it does pertain to me. But there's an extra card here that is for me. <laughs> So, <laughs> um, don't worry about what that extra card is, but I will show you the cards that I'll show you. I'll give you the glance of the cards that came out because it's attached to the Virgo video, but I'm not going to say anything about them. Okay. And I'm not going to show you the extra card that came out just for me. Got it. By the way, the bottom. 
There, I showed you, I just didn't say shit, and I didn't show you that extra card. That only applies to me. Not only, but that does definitely apply to me. Keeping a little bit of, you know, solidarity here. Solidarity, that's not the word. So solitude. Privacy. You know what I mean. Like I said, I don't got all my words. Where did my fire quartz go? Oh, there it is. It just blends right in. Anyway. All right, now the psychic tarot deck. Just because of what happened yesterday with the energy shift, like the part two, I was like, damn it, I really don't want to miss an opportunity like that again. Okay, so let's see the psychic tarot deck. See what we got here. Another personal one for me. Same person. I know. I'm aware. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, that's Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, that's another one for me. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Do wash a couple more. Spirit animal deck and then the shaman deck. I'll save that one for last, just in cases. Okay. I do love this deck. You know, it's just done so well and the artwork is great and they just have like a quick little paraphrase on it on each card of what the card's about oh oh I like this this is good this is like actually I feel like this applies to a lot of you I'm not gonna read any cards on it because I don't feel the need to it's really just like a quick little it's almost like a reminder think of it like a little reminder notification Starfish spirit with the number 59 that breaks down to the number five self-expression, right? It's also um been hearing more so that five is also sacrifice I never really feel that way about the number five, but it doesn't matter what I feel right. I mean <laughs> It is what it is. Um, but I always feel more self-expression with the vibration of five open to infinite possibility I love that open infinite possibility. It's about um Not only being open-minded, but like taking a chance you know what I mean? It's like not being so afraid of of all the different possibilities and pathways you can take. It's like, look, yeah, you got a lot of options, but it's okay to take that leap. Even if it's something that's a little scary, just be open-minded to it. Because when you're open-minded and you're not afraid to take that jump, you have infinite possibilities, which is pretty much true. Okay. All right, let's do the shaman deck. God, I love this deck. And this is the one that jumped off yesterday. So let's see what's going on with this one.
I know this one when I... <laughs> the Serpent, number 46. This is also about cycles, closing and ending, but more so it's about Kundalini energy. If this card came out with a beloved card, it's like that's all Twin Flames all day, but Kundalini energy. And I'm actually, I'm not surprised either. It's like there's all kinds of craziness going on with this energy, including, you know, a little bit of this. <laughs> um, so be mindful of that, okay? Be mindful of that. Oh my god, these two cards came out yesterday. These two came out yesterday. So remember what I said about these guys. This is like, um, this is obviously, it's like soul, soul, soul connections, right? Soul connection, soul bond. And then the child. Oh shit. What? See, I always have trouble with this card. I even said that in that video. But the rattle is calling. The rattle is like destiny is calling. Destiny is calling. So take what from that video that I did, um... Oh my god, that was just yesterday. <laughs> Can you tell them like I've got a lot going on? I'm like, wasn't that like two days ago? Oh my god, no, that was just yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, these two cards came up in that reading and I described them there, so please check that out. It's the part two, um, the part two with the energy shift, and then the rattle is about destiny is literally calling you. It's literally calling for this energy to manifest and transpire. Soul bond, soul connections, also twin flame, of course. All right, I just heard some of you say, just read the child. Okay, <laughs> I'll just read it for you. Why not? Okay. The child knows the way to joy and happiness. The child offers the return of a second innocence, a time born of wisdom and not of naivety. The ca this card allows you to correct your course and offers you a second chance. It brings you the possibility of redemption and entering heaven while on earth. The child is here to release you from the habit of being yourself and to help you acquire beginner's minds so that you can see life as if for the first time. Remain open to learning and discovery. Who is your spouse or partner today? Can you see them with fresh eyes? Who is looking back at you in the mirror this morning? Become a mystery unto yourself and reconnect with a sense of childlike wonder. Yeah, so. <laughs> Second chances with a soul bond, a soul connection. And destiny is calling for this to happen, trying to make this manifest. Try oh my God, and that's a seven two. Seven five seven. Seven five seven. What does that vibration mean? Oh. If anyone wants to look up that angel number, the seven five seven, because I don't know that one specific. That's a pretty specific one. Um, please, please feel free to look that up and, and post it down in the comments. Okay. Okay. Oof. Wow. So like I said, guys, it's like these pre-shuffle videos, they're going to be kind of quiet. They're going to be kind of, you know, not nearly as exciting. What's this? Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Reading time. <laughs> Whoa. Crap. Okay. Okay. Y'all saw it. I've just been shuffling. No big deal. Okay. What cards do we have? So we have the staff. It's a very phallic card, by the way. Very masculine card. Spiral. The sun. The beloved card again. I don't read these ones in reverse. I really don't feel the need to. Um, the child. Plus they're oracle cards. I just feel weird to read oracle cards in reverse. Thunder and the rainmaker. Thunder is very similar to lightning. Very similar to lightning. The one that we had in the reading yesterday. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Because this is not just about me. For sure, this is not just about me. Okay. Let me just get all this stuff moved around so I have to make the space. Move my crystal. Oh, by the way, <laughs> uh, I used my citrine last night. I slept with it last night because of that energy craziness. I feel so much better. Plus, I asked my guides to actually allow me to rest and to sleep, and it felt amazing. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Uh, Citrine does a lot of great things, including abundance and, and brings abundance and success. Um, but it really is great for balancing energy just to like have on you, like especially if one of, of this caliber. Um, but anyway, if you're having trouble with energy, Citrine's great. Okay. 
let's get these set up here the spiral the sun and the beloved with the child again came out that's like crazy um and then thunder and the rainmaker all right so like i said guys i know these cards i do but I like to read the descriptions for you guys because sometimes that will resonate so much more with what I have to say about it. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's just like a key phrase like that'll trigger someone or like a statement that'll just jump out, like a certain wording of a sentence that'll just jump out. Um, like this 51 card is, is kind of like my Divine Masculine Energy card. Um, but let's see for those twinsies out there who are watching. Okay, first, actually, I'll start with the overall energy arrow the number three this is destiny as well it's also like my cupid's arrow card it's basically destiny has been triggered that's literally what this card is destiny has been triggered and there's been a target it's been shot and there's nothing you can do about it you're either gonna follow destiny or you're gonna fight it one way or the other um but i i it, for me it's also cupid's arrow it usually comes out with the beloved but i will read that one to you anyway anyways okay so this is the overall energy. Receiving this symbol reminds you that when you are in alignment with your heart and soul, you are on target and will soon be hitting your mark. Be true to your calling, release attachments, and free yourself from the bondage of unbridled ambition. Now is, reveal, is revealed to be a moment of contact in which your intention meets the material world. The arrow also symbolizes the need to set your creativity free. When the arrow zings through the air, it is inviting you to pay attention and signifying that you're about to make your mark in some aspect of your life. It illuminates the moment of contact when you know that your desires and intentions have traveled on the wind and land in the perfect place for your highest good. Trust that your job is to be relaxed yet focused, keeping your eye on the prize yet releasing your intention with full expectation that it will land as it is supposed to. Don't worry about the how or the exact form. This is not a time to interfere with the manner in which the arrow flies. It will make its mark and you will have no, and you will have cause to celebrate. That's awesome. Okay. So these are the first two cards out. Oh my God. <laughs> 1551. <laughs> the spiral with the staff. I'm really feel, I'm actually feeling like this is pertaining to um, someone coming in. Like I actually, whoever's reading this, whoever's been on this struggle and who really resonated with those other videos who were like, you're waiting on someone or you know someone's coming back or you know you're gonna have to deal with something soon. This is that person's energy, okay? The staff and the spiral. So let's read that. <laughs> okay. The staff. The, sim the staff is the symbol of authority. It holds the power to temper extremes. The staff helps you find the right course of action the way of the middle and aids you to maintain your balance after you begin walking in that direction. Moses carried a serpent staff through the desert and with it, he could summon the power of nature to heal or, ca or call plagues. The staff reminds you of the imper impermanence, excuse me, you guys know I'm not really great at reading out loud, <laughs> of all things and that your authority must come from your deep longing to serve. You know how to flow easily between polarities, how to weigh all possibilities and instinctively select the right path. Trust your inner wisdom and take the first step on a journey that your heart has already embarked on. Use the power of the staff to unite what appears to be divided, to find that delicate balance between will and surrender. You are caught, between, you are caught in the delicate balance between opposing forces, between masculine and feminine, between action and non-action. Use this to your advantage as there can be no day without night, no low without high, no wrong without right. This is the time to take corrective action, beginning with your beliefs about what needs to be fixed or prepared. Let destiny take its course, nudging it slightly along. Yeah, so this person knows that they actually have to come towards you. Like, they are very aware. They are very aware, and it feels very masculine. Doesn't mean that they have to be a man. They could be a woman. But it feels very masculine, whoever this is. Um, and they're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place because they know they have to come in, but I feel the struggle. I feel the hesitation. They know, but it's like... It's like, I don't know I'm getting a wall. Like, I'm... <laughs> it's really funny it's not really a wall it's like a half wall it's like a hurdle it's like because I just got a like a glimpse of a guy I just got a glimpse of a man and it's like he's standing there like like he wants to go but the wall was only like up to his hips like he can just like just crawl over that <laughs> like that's the kind of feeling I'm getting it's like it's really easy for them to come forward they just are like 
it's it's funny it was a funny it was a funny image and visual it was like why are they not figuring this out is this like not stupid easy anyway um then let's look at the spiral the spiral the number 50 from galaxies in the sky to diminutive shells at the beach the spiral is found extensively in the natural world its shape in the form of a coiled serpent has been used since ancient times as a tool for growth and transformation. The spiral is a guide for entering deep into one's consciousness and the unknown and then extending far out into the heavens. It is crucial to surrender to this journey until the exhausted paradigm it dissolves in the depths of the psyche and its energy is released to give birth to a new reality. The invitation to renew yourself, you must shed your old skin. You have already done this, so do not keep scraping away at the old, but welcome the soft new skin that is starting to grow. Break the habit of working on your faults all the time and let nature take its course. Now that a new skin feels vulnerable and scary at times, trust the medicine of the spiral as it guides your journey of renewal. Now, if the person's really struggling with this, this is basically like they know they need to come forward because now they've shed the things that they've needed to shed. You understand me? Um, but I gotta be honest, guys, I'm really feeling like some of you who are resonating with this, they aren't quite at the spiral point. The spiral's out here because a good majority of, of, you know, your partners or people that you're waiting on with this energy have shed a lot of stuff that they don't need anymore. They've worked on themselves. They've fixed a lot of their inner problems, but I gotta be honest, some of them haven't. So this next section is for those who are really struggling to shed any issues they have within themselves or maybe even their past lives if they've done any past life regression or past life therapy. The spiral announces a de descent into the depths and a rebirth. Allow nothing to get in the way of this process. As the time is right and the forces of nature are supporting you in this endeavor, using stones, twigs, or yarn, build a spiral on the ground that is large enough to walk through. No, sorry. Yeah, to walk through. <laughs> with at least three turns. Enter the spiral slowly. Once in the center, offer to the earth the feelings or situations that you are no longer wanting in your life. As you walk back to the way you entered, feel recharged to your new journey. So these are actual instructions. So for anyone who's struggling with shedding stuff, I'll reiterate the instructions. Okay, I'll try to read it slowly. Using stones, twigs, or yarn, build a spiral on the ground that is large enough to walk through with at least three turns. Enter the spiral slowly. Once in the center, offer to the earth the feelings or situations that you no longer want in your life. As you walk back the way you entered, feel recharged to your new journey. Okay. Also, guys, I will say a good stone for that is bronzonite. Um, if you're trying to get rid of things that you really don't want to revisit, like let's say, um, like let's say maybe it's not this person, but let's say maybe it's like, I don't know, an ex that you've kind of always thought about like from years ago but you really are like why do I why do they keep entering my brain you know I just I really am done with that or let's say you're you left a job and it's like it's still kind of with you but maybe you left because it was a hostile work environment get a bronze and I and use this practice that I had just described out of the book and once you're done um you know use that stone during this practice and take that stone with you and then once you leave um you can throw it in the ocean if you have access to the beach um it's another good one. It's best in water. It's best in water. Uh, a lake is good too. A lake is good too, or a river. Um, if you don't have access to water, I would say bury it. If you don't have access to water, I'd say bury it. But those are my suggestions. But you don't have to use bronze and I, I'm just saying it's really good for trying to let go of stuff. The only thing is though, once you've let go, you cannot go back. Like you cannot. So make sure it's something you actually want to get rid of okay all right <laughs> that's intense so this is someone who's coming coming through trying to come through because they've shed they've shed a lot of themselves that doesn't serve them anymore but again if they've struggled with it some of them have struggled with it so just be mindful that not everyone who's coming back has done what they've needed to do in that regard of shedding stuff now let's look at this line we've got the son with beloved and child i've already read these two to you Second chances with a soul connection. I've never had the sun come out. It's a beautiful card. The number eight, which is really, really pretty. It's about progress, success, abundance, transformation. So let's look at the sun. Let's see what that's about. 
I'm assuming just it's like there's a lot of joy in this second chance if everyone's done the work and, it, and it's the right choice. You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, like I said in the last video, some of you, you know, this is definitely about a lesson. It's a lesson. It's a lesson that's supposed to be learned. Um, this is not the first time you've been in this situation, but it's about making the right choice. Whatever the choice is. If it's completely removing yourself from that person because they can't get their shit together, they can't do the work or what have you. Um, or if it is choosing this person because, you know, they've done the work and they're ready or whatever. Whatever it, that your situation you're in, you have to tap in your intuition to understand your right choice. I can't tell you the right choice for everyone's situation. I can't. It's I, I really can't. <laughs> um, you have to figure that out on your own. And I know that's hard, but use your intuition. Talk to your guides. Um, this is a really great time to be doing that anyway. Okay? The sun. The sun is acknowledged by many cultures as the foremost masculine force. In other traditions, it is seen as the feminine in her full power. Either way, it's the most brilliant light for all beings and allows life to sprout from the dark, feminine earth. It can be gentle and warming, close to sunrise or sunset, fall or winter, or it can be destructive as in the zenith during a scorching summer. Have you been hibernating? Have you been introspective? It is time to come out of your cave and savor the life-giving light of our star. The sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add your lightness and humor to the seriousness around you. Get out and play. So I actually feel like this is talking about more tact than anything. Um, and growth. Tact and growth. I'm getting growth. Um, again, if whatever that right choice is for you, there's a lot of growth to be had. Okay? For you. If, this right, if the right choice is made in this second opportunity, in this second chance to make the right decision. Okay, there's a lot of abundance in store for you. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of just, just pure joy and, and love. Even if it's walking away for some of you or joining this person. Again, you got to know your situation and know what your, your right decision is. I can't tell you because I'm not you and I'm not part of your past lives. <laughs> for those where this is a past life karma thing. Okay, because some of you it is a karmic thing. All right, now these last two cards. The Rainmaker and Thunder. Mm. 56, which is 11, with the number 42 with a 6. Memories, past lives, harmony. Hi. Mm. Like I said, Thunder is very, very similar to Lightning. It's, it's very similar to like a Tower Moment kind of energy. Um, the Rainmaker, I've only had that like once, and I don't ever recall exactly what it means. Um... I want to say it's about manifestation, to be honest. I want to say it's about manifestation. But let's see. Let's see. Like I say, guys, I love this deck, but it's a lot to know for each card because they're so detailed. And I haven't, I don't use it often. But I always prep it just in case. Okay. Legend speaks of great thunder beings who live in the sky and call your, for your attention when great occurrences are meant to happen in the world. They warn when tensions in a situation are called upon to be released. Mm tower <laughs> their presence in your reading uh reminds you of the dramatic moments in life that change everything both awesome and frightening when thunder arrives it is also a wake-up call one that you will not soon forget when thunder comes into your reading it refers to a big dramatic change that feels like a herd of wild bison on the run you feel it right through your bones that's kind of like the uh, that's actually kind of how i felt when um i got woken up out of bed at five in the morning i just like jumped i was like <laughs> kind of like kind of like thunder anyway um where was i oh you feel it right in your bones and you know that you are powerless to influence whatever events have been set in motion this is a time to be prepared for anything your life is an adventure and wonderful opportunities are arriving now the trick is to learn to run with them qualities that you need that you'll need now more than ever are flexibility dexterity and a willingness to experience all experience it all without dictating from where or in what form opportunities will come your destiny is arriving be ready so it's a destined tower moment it's like more more than just a regular tower it's like a tower just leading to pure destiny hey, getting intense all right then the rainmaker the rainmaker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good 
When the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty, and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffers. When the earth is parched, the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens and all that is dormant in the fields and the people's hearts spring to life again. The rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life. Be sure that you work with what is and not with what might could or ha or might be. Okay, hold on. Let me read, read, that, read the sentence again. I feel like that's going to ring true with a lot of you. And it's I feel like that's like that's a major lesson here. Work with what is not with what might be or could have been it's basically like like you know that phrase when it comes to dating you shouldn't date potential you should date what is that like you should date the person not the potential that's exactly what this is okay this the seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight do not hold back put all your chips on the next roll of the divine dice Ooh. okay so I think you guys got a gist of the energies just from the cards alone, but I am going to, I want, I do want to clarify the Rainmaker actually. And this card makes me nervous for some reason. So I really want to clarify this. Tell me about the Rainmaker. 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 That was quick. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Virgo energy it could also be Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <sighs> Definitely is calling for intuition. Look at her third eye. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on a second. I got a notification. Look at that third eye. Look at that. That is insane. Yeah, definitely this is saying before you make this choice, you got to really go within. That's exactly what I feel. Before you make this choice and you start manifesting what you want and working with what is coming, what is coming your way, you better use your intuition to make sure you understand exactly what you want, exactly what you need, and the choice that is best in this situation for you. Okay, Eek. tell me more about the Rainmaker. Oh shit, do I have this on Do Not Disturb? I'm afraid to touch it. I think it's on Do Not Disturb. I see a call and I'm like, well, I don't hear it, so it must be Do Not Disturb. Tell me about the Rainmaker. Oh, okay, there we go. How weird. Let me just double check. See, my, my my devices are, are really funky with me all the time. It was not on Do Not Disturb and it did not interrupt my video, even though in the past it's always interrupted my video. Nonsensical. Anyway, so I got a couple more cards out. Whoa. Somebody's telling me to keep going before I, I tell you what these other cards are. We got the Star and the Six of Cups in reverse. I mean, before I read those cards for you. Tell me about the Rainmaker. 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 Okay, we only got one more other card. Mm. Okay, overall energy. King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Could also be a uh, Gemini Libra. Uh, it's a lot of air. It doesn't they don't have to be an air sign, but this is about the person that's coming in. Um, they found their truth. That's what they're telling me that they found their truth. Um, it's almost like there's been another little mini shift after the shift, <laughs> mini shift after the shift. And maybe that's just because it's the new moon and like the first shift we felt was like quite a few days ago. I'm not sure to be honest with you. But I, I do feel like there's been a little mini shift because this energy, this person's energy feels so different than just the last reading I did, which was like two days ago that I did it with the tarot cards, not just the oracle cards. This person's energy has changed. They know their truth. Okay, well, that's what they keep telling me. They know their truth now. Whatever that truth is, 
and I think it's about you because right underneath it we had oh that's so funny right underneath we have queen of wands and I tried to pick it up and then it flipped in reverse which is more of like a how do I say that just like a very negative energy it's like it's almost like um it's almost like a mean girl it's like my mean girl card it's my mean girl card is the best way to say that um Aries energy could also be Sag or Leo or Cancer Pisces Scorpio Ugh. so this person this is weird so it was like this and then it was like this and I gotta be honest it's like I'm sensing a couple things so I'm just gonna keep it that way because it wants to be both ways for different people I can feel that your person knows their truth now however something to be cautious of um some of them it's not the real truth they're they're fooling themselves okay because queen of wands upright that is like the most irresistible like feminine energy whether you're a man or, or a woman it's it's someone who's very irresistible okay and that's why that's i think one of the reasons that this person feels motivated to come forward however some of them are tricking themselves into thinking no they're 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 no nah, they're bitchy they're angry they're jealous or whatever it's like just thinking negatively and they're convincing themselves that that's the truth of who you are again this could always be vice versa keep that in mind it could always be vice versa so some of you who are coming to that realization that maybe you really need to walk away from this person that is your truth you know what i mean um if it's vice versa but for the most part i feel like most of them their truth is to them is like okay this person i can't i can't resist this person anymore i can't take i'm getting i can't take it i can't take it i can't take it um which is why they're they're starting to come forward they're starting to come through but some of them like i said they've tricked themselves some of them have tricked themselves and that's why they're struggling that's why i saw the guy was like <laughs> with the half wall up to his hips i was like you could just like just easily step like step over that if you can't if you can't crawl over it you can easily just step over it anyway so some of them are tricking themselves so please be cautious of that but like i said this could be vice versa so for those of you where you your, your choice is to not choose this person you know the truth now because you've tapped into your intuition okay now these other three cards that came out the star card aquarian energy six of cups in reverse and the eight of cups destiny wishing coming true you're using your intuition on this destined event. It's, it might not even be your wish. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's their wish. But either way, there's a wish involved, but more so this is about destiny. You're using your intuition on this destined event. You understand what I'm saying? And you know it's destined. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Um, and that's that's what you're thinking of. That's what you're using your intuition on. But then we get this. The Six of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Cups. Either way, it's like part of your intuition. It's like you're looking back at their behavior, looking back at the past. And you're deciding to move towards your happy. Again, some of you, it's with this with whoever's coming towards you. Others of you, your happy is elsewhere. You got to decide for yourself using your intuition on this destined moment, okay? Ooh. But there's a lot of bad shit here. I mean, that's what I get with the six of, oh, <laughs> karma, past life, duh. Because <sighs> it went wrong in the past. Whether it was this life or the previous lives, it's gone wrong in the past. That's why that card's there. Okay. Wow. Um, hmm. This is crazy. Just, I'm deciding if I need to clarify any other cards. I mean, like I said, guys, I already told you mostly about these. And like, I was going to clarify it. And I'm like, it would just say the same thing over and over again. That this person has been shedding their stuff, been trying to shed their stuff. Some of them were very successful, some of them not. And wanting to come forward. I'll look at the sun. I'll look at the sun. I know it's mostly about joy and growth, but I'm like, I'm feeling like there's something there. So I will use the vice versa deck on that. And then I'll pull advice. I'll pull advice <laughs> on how to handle this. But I'm going to use the spirit animal deck to do it. Okay. Um, I love this deck. It's very powerful. But I feel like 
it's just it's just going to keep saying be prepared be prepared be prepared um and i'm hoping that maybe this spirit animal deck will give me something else clarify the sun give me something a little bit more than just be prepared <laughs> clarify the sun clarify the sun clarify the sun Clarify the sun. This is just intense energy, man. Oh, clarify the sun. Mm. Clarify the sun. We have the Knight of Swords out here. Clarify the sun. A lot of fire and air energy. Regardless of their sign, they're harnessing a lot of fire and air energy. Clarify the sun. I get begging that's weird why am i getting begging are they gonna beg you i don't like the vibration of begging maybe it's just who i am i don't know i don't i don't like that vibration clarify the sun i just keep hearing please 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 clarify the sun Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. All right, let me organize these a little bit. Oh, oh, I don't like. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Overall energy. Ace of Swords. So attached to the sun is the is the ace of swords is the overall energy it's truth it's truth it's truth it's clarity but there's success there's success at the end of the road um as the energy stands now there's success at the end of the road but from what i see oh to get to this happy place i just see a lot of hurt i see a lot of pain Again, whether you're choosing this person or you're or you're walking away, I just see pain. It's going to be a rough road either way. All right, well, let's just get into it, right? First two cards, Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, could also be Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, with the Three of Cups. This is a vulnerable Knight of Swords, though. It's a very different Knight of Swords. Being very honest, being very vulnerable, but very, like, just a lot to say. A lot to say. And, oh, I just heard, oh... I was about to say, and they come in quick, but before I could even get that out of my <laughs> before I could even get that out of my mouth, I they told me then you think. Oh shit! Better not be today or tomorrow. <laughs> um, I guess it would make sense. The new moon is tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if this person comes in over the weekend for for a lot of you. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and I just I don't know why I'm getting begging with this card with the three of cups. I just get begging. They're grateful to have known you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some of them are really going to cry. Some of them are going to beg. But at the end of the day, it's like they're just going to keep, they're going to communicate truth. Like, truth. Um, and they are very grateful to have known you. But I do get this sense of, like, begging. Um... It's a very sad energy. I don't like I don't like to see people in that kind of vibration, like desperate. I get you know like, and I'm not saying like oh they're desperate. Like I'm not saying that. It's like when you're really desperate, like to make something happen. And we've all been there. We've all been there. Even if it was, you know, you, your stomach's upset and you got to get to the restroom really quick. Like that's desperate, right? <laughs> um, I don't like that energy though. It's it's making me really sad. Okay, and then we have the Five of Swords and the Page of Cups. This is past energy. This is part of the truth of what they're going to tell you. They're going to say, look, I walked away. I walked away. Remember, this could be vice versa. I walked away, um, and I, I went within. I was alone, and I, I realized that I have, some, I have some issues being vulnerable. I realize I have some issues acknowledging love. I have some issues even acknowledging emotion is kind of what I'm getting. I don't know how to love. 
I thought I didn't, I thought, I thought, I thought I didn't know how to love. Oh my god, this stuff's gonna make me cry. Well, even when they come in, it's like, the ones who've done the work are gonna be incredibly vulnerable. The ones who have it, that's gonna be the, that's probably gonna be one of the key differences. The ones that have it, they're not gonna show you a lot of emotion when they come to you. They'll tell you the truth and they'll they'll beg and they'll they might beg a little bit and they're gonna tell you how grateful they are to have known you. But as far as more emotion than that, they're probably not gonna say it. Because that group, the group that hasn't done the work, they're still in this page of cups energy. This specific one is like is one that does not show emotion. Showing emotion is weakness. You know, this is like, this is open. This is like, hey, Lillian, I love you. I care about you. But like I said, most of this is they're talking about the past. But for some of the ones that haven't done the work, I feel this is like current energy. So please be aware of that. And then we have two of swords and strength, Leo energy. I'll be honest with you guys. This is going to be your, your vibration when they come in and tell you the truth. It's almost like you are facing down the devil. For some of you. For some of you where they haven't done the work, where it's been really terrible and your lesson is to leave them, it is literally like you're facing down the devil. Um, but for those that are dealing with someone who's done the work, it's more like you're facing down the past. You're facing down the beast from the past. And it's a hard choice. Otherwise, this, this two of swords would not be out here. This is one that's like, okay, I know what to do. This is like, oh my God, how do I get out of this storm? <laughs> You know, and look at those cards. Oh my god. Even like the gray scale is the same. It's gonna be tough, guys. It's gonna be tough, but remember, use your intuition and gra really ground yourselves. Really ground yourselves. Um people were asking me advice. Um I saw a lot of people giving really great advice, actually. Um, in that video that I did right before I went to bed where I'm wearing the, the red hoodie and it's like <laughs> just my face is really, really, really up close. Um I saw people recommending salt, tourmaline, those are really good. Um, if you're into incense or even like essential oil, sandalwood, anything sandalwood is great for grounding. Um, I also use visualization. Visualization works well for me, but that's me. Everyone's different. So, you know, try different methods if you feel like you don't really like your grounding method. I always like to visualize. So like I visualize, like I actually visualize my feet as like tree roots. And I, I always, you gotta always do barefoot. Like, I never, ever wear anything on my feet when I'm doing any of my work. Even right now, I'm barefoot. <laughs> my feet are planted on the ground. Um, I imagine, like, my, my feet as, like, tree roots and, like, they're digging deeper into the ground. Like, like I'm solidly into the ground. Um, but that's because of how I function and work with energy. Um, but everyone's different. So give it a try and go and check out that video if you feel like you don't have a good method. Um, yeah, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. I mean, intuition, I think, is the biggest thing. The biggest thing. And I think even separating yourself from this person after they come in, it was just for a couple days, just to get, like, to get ground, regrounded, because this person's going to really uproot you. <laughs> uproot. See? I'm all about, it's just how I am. <laughs> um, yeah, you're going to really, really reground yourselves after they come in, because this is a big choice. That was a big choice. And I'm not trying to make you guys anxious. It's just, it's just the truth. Any advice for this situation? Any advice for this situation? Any advice for the 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 situation? Okay, that feels good. Any advice? For this? And you know what? Maybe that's why I wasn't supposed to do this reading last night. Because clearly there's been a shift from just yesterday. Clarify. Not clarify. Any advice for this situation? Ooh. Any advice for this situation? Jesus. Any advice? 
lots of advice. <laughs> Any advice for the situation? Any advice for the situation? Jesus. Any advice for the situation? Hold on, we got a peeker. Okay, a lot of advice, guys. A lot. Oh, here's one I've never had before. <laughs> Whoa. Man, I love tarot. Anyway, the one that fell is the one that's standing out to me the most. Life is a mystery with the number eight. Progress, abundance, success. I'll, I'll show you guys the other cards, but I gotta be honest, I really feel like Spirit's just trying to say, figure it out. <laughs> we can't tell you what to do, I think is really what they're trying to say. But the overall energy, though, is the owl. By the way, some of you I know have been seeing a lot of owls. If you've been seeing a lot of owls, this, is, this situation should definitely resonate with you, okay? Hmm. Um... It's about intuition. It's about intuition. Plain and simple. Intuition, getting downloads, and letting your guides help you. Okay, and this is like the master of intuition is like the best way, is like the way I think of it. Um, to facilitate change. Oh, no, it's not eight. I'm sorry. No, this one's eight. I don't know. Oh, seven to eight. I don't know why I thought this was an eight. Anyway, it's seven. Um, so yeah, Owl Spirit is overall energy. Like I said, this is the one that stood out to me as like saying like, look, you got to figure it out for yourself. Life is a mystery for a reason. And it is. Life is a mystery for a reason. We can't, we can't know everything or find out everything this way and expect to still learn our lessons. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm sure you guys have noticed that in the last couple of videos I've done where it's like, I've held back on some information because they've started stopping me with the information that I give out. Because that's the only way we learn. And that's just the truth of it. Life is truly a mystery and it's for a good reason okay like i said i'll still show i'll still show you what what's up i won't read like from the book because like i said i really feel like they're just trying to say you guys got to figure it out but like i said it's a lot so i will still read them to you okay hummingbird be here now with the number 34 um actually this is for that person not you be here now, it's more about like, act right now. <laughs> like, do it now. You're in the perfect timing, you're in the perfect place, it is now, this is the perfect time, and if you miss your window, you miss your window, is basically what that is. Um, oh, I like this. This is for you guys, the ones who are, I'm saying you guys as the ones who are getting prepared for this moment to come into your life, okay? If you're reverse, you're reverse, and you know it. So Frog Spirit, with the number 28, Cycles cycles clear out the clutter this is definitely about purging the past purging the past healing the past 36 there is always enough i'm surprised this one's out here oh i know why this is here for those of you who are worried if you miss out on this opportunity look life does go on it does life goes on and if you miss this opportunity now it will come back around because there's lessons to be learned for, for I feel like it's for both of you, not just one of you. Um, and if it doesn't happen in this life, it's going to happen in the next one. You'll learn eventually. No, no matter how many lifetimes it takes, you'll learn eventually. Um, but there is always enough is basically like, don't hold on so hard either. It's like, keep giving. There's there's always more. There's always more is, is basically the big takeaway. There's always more. So let's say this is someone you're supposed to walk away from. And you're so worried that it's like, well, if I don't take them... What if I end up alone? Or what if I don't find that other person that will make me really happy? Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, no puns and no pun intended, but there are a lot of fish in the sea. There really are. There really are. And if you and if you're worried about the twin flame journey, look, I will tell you, a soulmate is way hell easier than a twin. Way easier. And there's like there are a dime a dozen soulmates. And it's way easier and you'll have a lot of happiness in your life. I'm not saying don't go for your twin flame journey. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you're really worried about missing out on your twin, but you're like, I know they haven't done the work, but what if I miss my twin? And that's all you really are thinking about. There are so many soulmates out there that can make you really happy. Okay? Anyway. Dove spirit be peace. Oh, I like this one. This is basically saying that it's like, there's peace and joy here and to keep calm, stay calm, find that inner calm in you. Um, it's also saying that you're, you're, you're surrounded by peace from your guides and, and the divine. They're here for you. Spirit is here for you. Um, hold on to that peace. Hold on to that peaceful feeling. <laughs> Eagle spirit. Spirit's got your back. They do. They're looking out for you. 
You already know that. I don't even need to go further into this card. <laughs> Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Another number three. Um, have faith in yourself. Be strong. Be really strong. I know this is going to be hard and I, I, I felt it. I showed you guys it is going to be hard, but it's saying be really strong in this because you can get through this. It's going to be a hard choice, but it's a lesson learned. That's why it's hard. But have faith that you're going to learn it the right way this time. Okay. Mm. Wow. I've never had this one before. Oh, okay. I know I said I wasn't going to read them. But the energy on this one is feeling really strong. So I'm going to read this one. I'm going to save it for last. So we have chameleon spirit. Act as if. This is about being adaptable. Adapt to the situation. And that's also about, you know, using your intuition, grounding yourself, taking the time to really dig deep to find the strength to make this difficult choice. Okay? Be adaptable. Don't get fixated. Try to go with the flow as much as possible, but stay very grounded in yourself and have faith that you can get through this. Okay. Let's, oh, this is a beautiful card. And the number 66. Ooh. Okay. Where did it go? All right. Trust in magic. Remember, I said there was a little bit of magic up in this for some of y'all. Um, nothing, nothing in the universe is random for the intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Coincidences. Coincid coincidences <laughs> have meaning and a white raven spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns even the winds dance in a pattern participate in the magic of spirits plan for all align with the highest good and intentions and you will come to see that white raven is guiding you an ally to you and a messenger from spirit align with the light and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the eye can't always see and the mind can't always comprehend the universe is conspiring on your behalf right now drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that you that are your birthright now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic, and you will see the hand of great spirit arranging things in your favor. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, guys, that's it. Stay strong, because this is coming. Some of you, it's like, I swear to God, some of you, it's just going to be over this weekend. What's today, Friday? Yeah, some of you might even be tomorrow or tonight, honestly. Um, some of you, it's going to be a little further out than that, for sure. Um... But remember, use that intuition. Stay grounded. Don't let this person shake you too much. I mean, they're obviously going to shake you. But use your intuition to see what this person is really about and see if they've actually done the work that they need to do um, so you can better decide what choice you need to make, whatever your choice needs to be. Okay? I love you guys. Take care. Gonna get started on all the videos for the day. This is gonna have a long one, so I know this is gonna post after those videos are probably posted because it's like over an hour. Um, I'm also gonna timestamp it because I know I was doing all my decks and this was the last one, so don't worry about that. Well, obviously, you would have known that already since this is gonna be posted. Anyway, so I'll see you guys later, okay? Take care. Namaste.